I'm just going to hit this record button. And what? let's just get into it, huh? How about it? I've confused my priorities. Isn't it supposed to come to me? Yes, this is how it's meant to be. Every little thing flashing on a screen. I really want to get like a full on choreographed dance to that, like a like a full chair dance. Just make just make the opening more and more elaborate until it's like a 10 mm. minute like different renditions like maybe like a, a sad dark acoustic version of it like <laughs> like as if it's like a 2023 movie trailer because that's all movie trailers now are like a christopher nolan movie it's 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 take a movie from the 70s maybe the 80s and then slow it's it should be a rock song but then slow it down maybe maybe do female vocals mm -hmm. instead and then it's oh, like, yeah. wow, this is mysterious. Why? Because I normally see this as a big rock song, but now I'm hearing the lyrics. Like, and it sounds you, like intimidating. You, you ought to know. Like a little yeah. Lannis or something, you know, slow it down. I don't know if it would work with, with, with 90s songs as much, okay. but like, well, maybe. Yeah, like, well, like thanks if, for stepping on it. Listen, yeah, I just no, woke up. your your idea is pretty bad. <laughs> like, it's a it's a bad idea. Like, she's already a female vocalist. I was saying a male vocalist song that's sung by female. But no, if you want to be lazy and still do the same gender, well, then again, I guess I shouldn't assume Alanis is. A, I don't know how the gender thing works anymore. I just assume I'm Canadian. I assume I'm I'm offending someone at some point. So I, I apologize for everyone. Um, speaking of offensive. She's yeah. Okay. Good. I did shower. This is our second m morning pod. In I can a row. smell it. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. I moistured today. I, I moisted my face, so I feel very confident right now. Hmm. Like, let's have it. Okay. You have a problem with moist? I, I saw a look. I don't the know. The word is that a word? Yeah. No, actually, the uh, the feed jacked up, and I don't know if you said moist or moisturized or something, but it said moist, and then your ha face kind of went like, and, yeah, but. Most people We're would say moisturized, with, uh, yeah. but you you went you went full, just full solid moisted. moist moisted. Yeah. Yeah. Not sure that's the term. Um, but no, the word, word doesn't bother like? me. No, no words bother me. I am more likely to overthink a word and like get caught up in how silly it sounds. Mm -hmm. I like a good silly word that's not supposed to be necessarily like silly. Like I don't know. There's some there's some syllables that go together, and it's like yo. Props to whoever put this one together because that's a fantastic word. Like, um, I'm trying to think, like, like doppelganger. But that's that's probably is, is that is that not as silly sounding? Is it what is that German? That's silly doppelganger. It sounds like it would be. It's gotta be something like that. But it's like that's a great word. Like, so if you have the chance, like, you don't say like, oh man, I saw someone that looks like you today. No, dude, I saw your doppelganger today. Mm -hmm. Come on. Or Come Bizarro on. You. I like the Bizarro. I the Seinfeld do. Seinfeld reference. I do like the Bizarro so-and-so. We use that one a lot in college um, for, for different people. We would, and, and then the problem is, is like, how awesome of a concept is it in the universe that someone for like years we could see and call them Bizarro something, and that person never knows that they're to someone else. All they are is a shitty representation of like a fake version of someone they know like yeah, i you, i hope i'm someone i hope i'm bizarro someone like i'm it's like oh i'm bizarro frank to some guy at the gym who knows frank have you ever wanted to take a picture of somebody i'm assuming you haven't because that's kind of like psychopathic behavior to take a picture of a stranger in public but wanting to send it to somebody I've wanted to do that. I've seen people be like, you look exactly like this person that I know. And I really oh, want I a want, picture of you. Yeah, I would love to. And I think if you approached it, eh, okay, there's <laughs> definitely some people that would be off put by. But if someone, see, the problem is, is I love that, like that concept. So if someone was like, I don't know if this makes any sense, but I need to take a picture of you because you look like this person that I went to school with or something like that, I'd be like, yeah, do you want me to do any poses? Like, should we should we like sit and like act like we're hanging out? Should I like I don't know? Like, yeah, what do you want? I got like three hours free. What do you what do you want to do with this? Yeah, it is like, an approach thing. Yeah. yeah. So the, uh, that's tough because I would probably 
within 20 seconds, they would be confused because I'd be more excited about it than they were. Mm-hmm. And that's what would actually make them feel uncomfortable, which means yeah, I, I win. Right. Because I would be taken off guard, I think, if somebody did that. Because it would happen so fast, you'd probably be like, yeah, okay. And then you'd be like, oh, no, what just happened? What have I done? Because you were because you were hesitant at first to go up because yeah. you're like, I don't yeah. want to make them feel weird. So if the, t- if the tides turn that quick, yeah, I think you'd be thrown off and be like, I got to go. I'm, I'm sorry. No, I, I, I'm mistaken. You don't look anything like her. Speaking of words, we have a lot to get to today. Episode six, finally an episode where we have shit to get to. Uh, um, yes. So here's, you know, let's pull back the curtain. Okay, folks. Okay, folks. I We're going to pull back curtains. the curtain. Um, so the last episode was number. That would be Wait, five. What are we on? That would be five. five. This, five? this okay. would be six. Because okay. you, you so... literally just said episode six. And then you're like, so what was last episode? That was number. Dude, it's like, I we just rolled these off. Anything. I mean, Jay. It's like. It's just a hobby now. I mean, we're just doing it. Like, it's just poo, 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 poo. Just getting them out there, getting that content out. Um, so after episode five, we finally decided we might share it. <laughs> like, kind of bulked up some episodes, mm-hmm. got it going. Like, mm-hmm. is this a thing? Does it work? Yeah, we had, no, audi- we still, had an audience, of, we had an audience of like three. <laughs> yeah. Um, but now we're hopefully up to like three, yeah. you know, like 13. Um, so we're going to go through some comment section. I think we need to do that, which I have uh, maybe I have a, re- a, a request. Wait, we'll talk about it. I want to I want to maybe think about renaming the comment section. I know too soon. Stop the shirt presses. Um, but first we have <laughs> these the words. We have the conversation dice that it's yeah. all too timely. So last mm-hmm. week we drew these words. Yeah. Again, we draw the conversation dice. We shake them up. Pull out a few words, and it's supposed to, you know, initiate discussion. Maybe make us think of something. It's um, when you don't all randomize. Yeah, when you don't have a solid basis for segments, you literally have mm-hmm. to shake dice so that right. it says yeah. words to tell you what to fill in time with. So, so our words were mother, home, and soon. It's real, like psycho mother, you know, behavior, like movie movie words. Mother, mother. It, yeah, it depends um, when you say the word mother in a sentence. True. As wow. to like how it gets taken, because if you said like "home soon, mother," were the words like how we both had like our fingers like this? Yeah, gotta gotta watch the vid. Gotta watch the vid for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. this is Real a big Norman one. Bates big, yeah, stuff, exactly. Yeah. If you if you say "mother soon" and "home," sounds pretty pretty sterile. But if you say "home <laughs> soon, mother," yeah. it, it all of a sudden shit gets weird, especially to like your girlfriend or something like that. Really freak her out. Right. Absolutely. I mean, you know, you could pick any three words. And if you're in a dimly lit room in a recliner with a cat in your lap, nothing's going to sound right. (laughs) Everything will sound weird. And the reason I bring this up is because yesterday, it old Weggies. Yes. My mom came through the self-checkout. I went over to say hello. Happened to be on the front end. Shouldn't have been. Just a busy day. And (laughs) how to know where she goes. I listened to the first three, or should I watch the first three? I was like, watch the first three what? Like, what do you mean? Are you, you watch The Last of Us? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> she goes, oh, with you and Jeff. And I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> I was like, good, good. And she's like, yeah, me and Sharon watch it. We're just laughing. We're dying. And I was like, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. like, well, um, let me just say, I guess, <laughs> um, I'm sorry for whatever I say. Or, you know, it's, it's like tread lightly. It's not very clean. She goes, I know you have your mother being like, ah, I was like, okay, well, good to know yeah, that you're well, watching. You know. Appreciate you. Appreciate the views. Thank you. <laughs> hey, yeah. did you remember to like and smash that sub, <laughs> subscribe, whatever? Please? Um, yeah, I got. So the moms are watching. Yeah, I got the text from Sharon a couple days you ago. Did. Okay. Mm-hmm. Letting her know, uh, you know, it was actually on Wednesday. So I let her know. She texted me before episode five was released. So I let her know. I'm like, good news. If you love that, I'm like, got another episode hitting the shelves in like 60 minutes. So, um, yeah, so I mean, were, it's, there was it's, a, it's a weird dynamic. As we're talking about it, there's a YouTube comment on episode five from oh. a user named Ken. And it says, episode six, yikes. 
is your dad have a YouTube account? There's no way my dad <laughs> knows how to set up a YouTube account. And then comment. Why is there a guy named Ken? Yeah, to I yikes don't know. About I, the moms. I am more confident that some random person named Ken in Belarus got, somehow came across our page, doesn't have a grasp of the English language, and posted that. So there's no way. My dad has two Facebook pages because one, he <laughs> forgot like the password and like it couldn't shut down. And now that is been it's completely yeah and it's been like hijacked because like <laughs> I, I had someone tell me a couple weeks ago that like they got a facebook message from that profile of like my and i'm like that is not how my dad talks i'm like this which is weird because everyone knows that when you're being spammed by like a, a by a, a bot of some sort it's, it's weird english it's weird thrown together prince of you know nairobi emails like mm -hmm. spammers like are disjointed. The problem is, is with my dad's stuff is like, he kind, he can kind of come off like that, but it was just not in that <laughs> style. So I'm like, mm, I'm confident. Hey, face Bork. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, but it's, yeah. So to think that he set up a YouTube profile when you don't need to set up a profile to view YouTube, I can't see that being him. Yeah. Well, but um, thanks, Ken. Thanks for commenting, Ken. Yeah, that's wild. We appreciate that. Him, Big shout out to Ken. But it's wilder if it is him. Yeah. So. Yeah. Actually, we win either way. Yeah. So mothers, um, I don't know. I was trying to like, you know, what really sticks with me is something that I think about a lot. I still think about with my mom. I feel like the worst thing I've ever done to her it still sticks with me. Okay. Um, and because I wasn't home soon and it's still like the thing <laughs> I, I may have recently like told her about that, that it still sticks with me. I mean, she may think there's something else that I've done. That's way worse. Uh, if you did mom, put it in the comments, let me know what you think is the worst thing I've ever done. <laughs> um, let me know mom. Yeah. But the worst thing I think I've ever done was hanging out with Jeff Farley it was 1994, June 6th. I know that because it was the night of the OJ Bronco chase. And I was hanging out at Jeff Farley's house. And I was supposed to get picked up or whatever. Like, I don't even know what time it was. I don't know if it was supposed to be like, it was three and I was supposed to be home or call to come home. You know, it's one of those, it was still like landline era. So it was like, call when you're ready to get picked up. We were just outside playing like little mini stick lacrosse or something like that, playing outside games. Yeah. It, whatever. Yeah, will. So let's say it, all of a sudden it was like six o'clock. And I think my dad was about to come over and I was like, you know what? I don't want to go home. I'm just having a good time. Okay. Bold. I'll Bold what, at that he, age. Yeah. When he comes by, I'm just going to hide. <laughs> so I just like. What? What like, solution didn't, is that? Didn't, didn't call. Didn't answer a phone. Cause like. So normally what happened is Jeff Farley's mom would have answered the phone and been like, oh, yeah, they're outside. But she didn't because she was over at the neighbor's house because they were all watching the OJ chase. It was going crazy. So they, and then there was no way to text message or like leave a message. <laughs> so there's nobody picking up at Jeff Farley's house, the phone. Uh -huh. We're outside. My dad does come by. I see him drive through the parking. It was kind of like an apartment complex. So I see him drive, do a lap. And I'm like, oh, shit, there he is. <laughs> and I hide. That's my idea is hide. I don't want to stop playing. You know, this is a great idea. Let's let's keep playing. Um, and then hours later, it's probably like nine o'clock or something like that. We go into. Whoa. Like OK. Hours, OK. Hours later. OK. <laughs> like like uh, we go into the house where they're watching the OJ chase. And I'm like, wow, I'm going to call my mom. I'd like to watch this more. I'm going to call home and tell him I want to stay. And I called my mom picks up and she's just crying. I was like, we don't know where you were. Like, are you okay? And I was like, holy shit. And I was like, probably a bad time to ask if I can stay over to watch OJ Simpson Chase. I was like, it was just right. total, like, just didn't the least thoughtful, least considerate, most boneheaded thing I've ever done to destroy my mother. Because um, there was no communication, you know? Now it's like, with cell phones, you can track your kids or, you know, you can at least text me. Like, hey, at least tell me where you're going, something like that. And I did not do that. They had no idea where I was. And I just like, remember I got home, I think. And she was just like, 
one of those didn't even have the energy to acknowledge me kind of things just like puffy faced tears and i was like all right that's gonna be with me forever <laughs> that's uh truly awful <laughs> that's my bad maybe wow, not for, maybe not forever like... but we got where i was tw- like 29 years and running right <laughs> yeah. now so maybe yeah. not forever but yeah but again if there's something worse that i've forgotten mm. uh yeah let me know throw it in and the I comments was trying to think I was trying to think of like, well, what's the best thing I've done for my mom? And I can't think of anything. I don't know. <laughs> it's like, I'm, that's tough. I feel like, I don't know. It is. It's like, because, um, because you can't, you can't, that's a hard thing to do. Like, you don't want to know what the best thing you've done for your mom is. You want to hear it from your mom. Yeah. You want your mom to tell you, and then you want to hold on to that, write that shit down so that you can do different versions of that for her. Cause you're like, ah, yeah, you're winning in this who owes who thing. So if we're yeah. keeping track, if we're keeping score, <laughs> like I probably owe you a lot more than you owe me, Ma. Well, I mean, oh yeah, I owe her way more. I mean, she's always there, you know, like if I was ever like feeling depressed or down, like calling in the middle of the day or whatever, just call, just talk to mom, especially when I was in Texas or something to see what's going on, you know, just a comforting voice, yeah, understanding, very empathetic, mm-hmm. just mm-hmm. like, yeah, just like she's an empathetic lady. Listening. I, I get that. Yeah. I get that. Um, I feel like I could give your mom a call and be like, I just true. need to talk to someone yeah. or like, and yeah. not any, about anything in particular. Oh, okay. So yeah. I mean, I get that. I get that. You always owe in the mom department. That's for sure. So I yeah, don't know. Do. I made a last mother's day. I made her a card. Made her. Yeah. I made her a card. Is it, was it made out of construction paper? It was. Yes. And I am glitter, so proud glitter of you. Glue. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Like if you're going to be like, oh, you know, I really, I, I used like computer drug. Nope. Nope. I don't want to yeah. see that. Yeah. I wish I had somebody on my phone on me, but, um, you know, I'll post it in this episode. We're going to do a hard cut. Boom. Picture of the card goes insert here. Why are we and calling it construction paper when really the only thing you ever construct is a card and that's by folding the piece of paper in half. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sometimes you got to construct your feelings, you know? Oh, shit is that why they call it that it's deeper Mm -hmm. it's a deeper meaning it's way deeper wow (laughs) that's really interesting you know that yeah construct a relationship wow (laughs) yeah i thought it was either like building something i'm like well if it's not that then clearly it was invented by like you know carl p construction oh oh german there's no way we can look it up (laughs) what was that yeah no (laughs) We are, <laughs> uh, let these theories lie. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> scientists have been working on this for, for ages trying to figure out the, the etymology of construction paper, but some say that we may never know the answer. Um, I feel like the best thing you can ever do for your mom, mm-hmm. cause it doesn't happen all the time. It's just like, if you're talking to her, just tell her you're happy. Tell her when you're happy. Cause I don't like, okay. <laughs> it's like, I feel like that's the best thing. Like, how are you doing? Really well. I feel really good. Cause I don't all the time. So when I do, that is very I true. Want you to know, like, it's like phew, the day I can not worry as a mom, you know, like, Hey, job's going well. Um, got some money. I can do things that I like. I'm happy. I have positive relationships. Um, but then tomorrow shit hits the fan again, but yeah, still, that like, one day it's great. You know, it, it, um, you never really tell like your parents and stuff, how you feel necessarily as a kid. Um, at least again, we kind of fought, we mentioned what, it depends on what, what, uh, type of environment you fostered at home. Um, but as an adult, my mom's always been kind of the one person where I don't feel that social pressure to be like, how's someone, someone like, how you doing? Oh, good. Like mm-hmm. it, it, it's, it's literally, I'll just like, I I'm, I'm so blatantly forward with emotional stuff with my mom. Um, mm-hmm. because it's, you know, someone that's never shown me a reason not to be. So when I got comfortable doing it, I just kept doing it. Um, I also get comfortable with kind of sharing most stuff with my mom, whether she likes it or not. Um, so yeah. like I used to like, like I'll be honest with you and, and I can't wait till she hears this, but she'll understand it. Is that like, yeah, let's do it. So like, <laughs> I always used to like watch myself with like, you know, swearing around my mom. Cause I'm like, ah, oh, she hasn't, she hasn't like hearing that stuff and blah, blah. Then as like an adult, I just got more and more comfortable with it. So I use it. So I'm a casual swearer. Like I say shits and fucks and stuff. Like I don't say them inappropriately, but I have no fear of using them to stress Mm. situations. So it's always funny. Like 
because she'll just be on the receiving end, not in a malicious manner, but she'll just hear constant foul language from me. <laughs> but she doesn't skip a beat. She'll be like, yeah, oh, wow, yeah, okay, mm-hmm, yeah. But like she would like I'll be like yeah mom this is some fucking yeah that's a good like, impression I'll be like, I'll be like yeah that's some <laughs> yeah. Fu- I'll be like mom you know what listen did you see the Yankee game the fact that they didn't pull the pitcher in the seventh I'm like that's some fucking bullshit and I'll be honest with you I'm like <laughs> that's oh, why you use it only oh, yeah. when it's really needed for the Yankees game right <laughs> like, so like yeah. and she'll be like I know I just you know what sometimes I just don't know why they're doing what they're doing you know I'm like but yeah so like she doesn't skip a beat. Like, I think she used to, and maybe she does want to see it, but maybe she understands that it's kind of like, it's just part of my wording. Like, that's just it. And like, but yeah, I mean, I owe my mom everything under the sun because it's always been that case. Like, they, she is the epitome of like, I don't, I, I've seen her mad like twice ever but like disappointed is like the worst feeling in the world. Yeah. And I have, I, my life is filled with situations where I've disappointed her. <laughs> um, well, we already talked about like my college career and stuff. And I'm like, how do yeah, I explain yeah. this again and again? Yeah. So yeah, I mean, you know what? She likes to hear about my successes. Um, I like to think that it's sometimes she probably is like, yo, it, this was going down a path. Like he, he homeboys bounced back a little bit. So I try to share my successes and, and it, I don't usually give myself credit when I do proper stuff. Cause I see it as like, um, you know, this is the stuff you should be doing. So like, I don't, mm-hmm. I don't give, I don't give myself credit, um, for a lot of things and she will give me credit and, um, you know, I know she likes hearing that stuff. So yeah, I'm hoping that soon she will come see my home. Um, I mean, obviously she's been here plenty of times before, but uh, hoping to set up something in the next few weeks uh, for her and the dad to come visit. But, you know, she always has nice things to say uh, when she shows up. She knows not to ask me needless questions. She knows like how to, ho- she knows so well how to carry a conversation with me because like, listen, the reality is, is I fucking hate talking on the phone. Talking on the phone sucks. It's stupid and I don't like it. The only person really? like- I, oh my God, dude, I hate phone calls. I hate them. Now I also work in a job where I, when I'm, when uh, I was, yeah. when I was on a desk, I Spring worked, your work I worked you. on the yeah. phone, but I love video calls and, 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 and I love like social interaction with people. Like I'm a people person. I just, the phone is so dumb yeah, yeah, and archaic yeah. because you can't have quiet like if you're in the same room with someone, you don't need to be talking all the time on the phone. If there's five seconds of silence, it's the most awkward five seconds and the longest five seconds of our lives. Like, so I feel like there's always mindless blah, 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 of just bullshit. But so I, I don't answer phone calls. Um, it blows my mind still that a lot of people will answer calls that they don't have the caller ID for. It's an unknown number and they'll answer it. I'm like, why are we wow, doing this? What a and life, then, a forgotten life. And then like, they're upset that it's like an automated call. I go, you literally called someone that you are acknowledging. You don't know who they are. You picked up. And when you didn't know who they were, you got upset. Just yeah. don't answer the phone. Well, what so if wait, it's do a- you make outgoing calls for work? Or do you just, I, Oh, calls? I used to when, so when I was uh, on a, when I was on a desk job, I'm a trainer now, so I don't, I only work with right. training people, but when I was on desk job, yeah, I had to make outbound calls um, to attorney's offices a lot of the time. And <laughs> yeah, stuff somebody like like, Why are you picking this up? <laughs> Let your voicemail go. Well, oh, people would, people would pick up and be upset. People would be like, why are you calling my home? I, like when I used to work the weekends back, it, back in the day, people would be like, why are you calling my home? It's, it's this uh, religious holiday and stuff. I'm like, why did you pick up the phone to yell at someone for wasting your time? I go, the phone isn't on auto answer. That's not a thing. Your phone doesn't magically pick up flying to your hand and you're like, ah, son of a bitch. Like, just don't answer the fucking phone. Did you answer it? Cause you wanted to be a dick. (laughs) Knock it off. I see. I kind of like phone calls. I, not that I make a lot, but there's sometimes I'm sending like a two sentence text and I'd be like, this would just be easier with a 45 minute phone call. Like, I don't know why I can't put these words in the right way into a text. Let's just, you know, what? I'm going to walk around the block and just put my headphones in and have a call. Oh, I. that was also being away for so long. I think that was just part of it, yeah. especially with the parents, the mom and the dad. Like every time it started a phone call, hey, what's going on? It's like, eh, it's walking around the neighborhood. Um, 
I really, I really enjoyed it. Hopefully the headphones would uh, kick in, but it's like, you know, start out with like, how's the weather? Like, tell me, give it to me. I can't look that up. I want to know what the weather's like. How's work? Um, how's the niece and nephew? You know, just generic. And that, finally, let's talk Bruins. Let's talk Buckeyes. Here we go. Let's get into it. <laughs> yeah, let's get into the sports talk. <laughs> but you never realized it was always fun with my folks is that it would, wouldn't be to like 10 minutes in that I'd realize I was on speakerphone and because I'd hear like my mom in the background and be like, oh, no, yeah, that's funny. Or you know, just some comment and be like, oh, hey, mom, <laughs> you could have announced your presence. Oh, I, I wouldn't even be on speakerphone, but my dad would know that my mom's talking to me. And so I would hear him be like, yeah. tell him to, or she'll <laughs> tell him to, yeah. she'll mention. Maybe something. it was like that. She'll mention something. My mom will mention something harmless and irrelevant. And my dad in the background will be correcting her from like the other room. Like it would be like, it'd be like something oh, like, oh, my mom would be like, oh yeah, you know, did you watch Jeopardy? Oh yeah. That one guy had like $9,000 going into final Jeopardy. And, my, and I'd hear my dad correcting her from the background being like, it was $8,800. I'm like, why does yeah. that Like, stop it. Why are you correcting Dude. someone when it does not matter? I love correction when it doesn't matter. I feel oh. like that's just part of like the minutia of growing older too with someone. It's just like, Hey. We got to tackle everything, every part of every day. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> right. yeah. Inaccuracies are killing America, yeah, yeah, yeah. especially yeah. on random banter. Yeah. No, it snowed all day. No, it snowed for 23 hours. Jesus. It wasn't all day, literally. God. <laughs> Be honest with your son. Yeah. Um. Wow. Any other hot mother takes? That is a terror. Not, 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 not takes that are hot, just hot mothers. Days. Right. Mm, yeah. Wow. Weird. Um, I can tell you this that um, it's a struggle in upstate New York to like get on dating apps and stuff like that. There's not a lot of folks my age in town um that don't have like four kids already or three kids like yeah. so if i get on bumble or tinder or whatever I, I i only go through it like once every few months now because it's very depressing to like go through it and it's a lot of um it- yeah do i want to be do i want to number one drive 30 minutes because there's barely anybody in town so i gotta go to syracuse mm-hmm. and do i want to drive 30 minutes to be a stepdaddy to three and so that's something i really have to be serious <laughs> about the answer right now is no okay okay but Ladies, um, take note. Yeah. Um, is there any single women over the age of 30 that don't have kids? Not around here. It's it's really bizarre. Um, but I guess that's just kind of like the kind of like small town life is you have kids when you're like 20 years old. Then you end up having four kids by the time you're 24 years old. And but you're our generation and also like, wow. still our generations more. It's more accepting to not stick together for the kids and yeah, not bu- true, not bite yeah. the bullet for the next 60 yeah. years. And so people are more likely to go like F this, like this person's a clown. I'm not doing this anymore, which good for them. Like I, it's certainly not a knock on anyone who has kids and is not married or even with someone. Like if it's not making you happy, then don't stay with someone. I always thought the concept of staying together for the kids was, was stupid. Um, because your kids know if you if the parents don't like each other and the kids aren't being like, well, yeah, good yeah. thing they're yeah, sticking together because yeah, yeah. this is making That's a true. really warm household. I'd rather have two two parents that aren't together and are really happy than and having to go back and forth than being in a house full of misery. So if you're sticking together for the kids and you hate each other, uh, I'll let you know it's not working and your kids see right through it. But cool. Right. Um, well, it's like maybe should I just stepdad the shit out of somebody, you know, just be there. Only like, I'm cool, Dad. I can, only, can, I, can I cool Uncle? Only, a dad position? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a level up from cool Uncle. Um, yeah, yeah. Only if you are like the replica of Carrie Elwes' character in Liar Liar. <laughs> that is the best version of just wow, what a pull <laughs> chintzy stepdad. Now, if you don't know it, go rent Liar Liar. It's a gem. It's Jim Carrey top five movie of all time for him. Um. But that was like super mainstream. I remember that was like a big mainstream break. Yeah, that was that was um, probably in ninety, probably ninety five. I'm guessing um, it, it was, was ninety six. Idiot, was it? Gee, are you looking? I don't know. Oh, okay, I don't know. so no. 
but yeah, um, yeah, I think you should absolutely try to be a stepdad, but be the corniest stepdad ever, ever. I've seen a lot of videos on the internet about being a stepdaddy. Have you? So, what what does that not. mean? How, what are you? What does that even mean? What is the? What is that video? Like what you know videos? No, I you know. Oh, oh, you know. Oh, I hear what. Yeah, I, I realized you just said stepdaddy. I'm going to protect the mothers. Okay. <laughs> this is the mother's episode, Matthew. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep your head out of the gutter. Mother's Day episode. Not for Mother's Day, but yeah. No, no, um, it's for mothers. Let's get into these. Uh, okay, so we're getting some comments now. Comment section speaking up. <laughs> I'm just going to pitch this real quick. Yeah. So I built a link tree, which is basically a website you go to that lumps all of your links together so if people want to listen on different formats or like video, a, you like a one... tree yes, yes and every link is a branch it has branches mm -hmm. yeah so mm -hmm. the tree the stump is the website but it branches off into all these different links so you, you could go you lost to. me but the link tree strangely familiar was taken so i had By to who? use I don't know. I should look that did up. You, did you, you message you think them? I would have looked that up? Yeah. You think I would have looked it Wouldn't up? Wouldn't you have gone, go to their website, critique it? That's, well, guess we know what That's episode not. seven's going to be. Critiquing the other strangely familiar. <laughs> yes. Fuck that. Part of, my, part of my life is mild roadblock. Turn it back around. Let's get out of nope. here. No, back nope. it up. Let's dig deep. <laughs> Cannot encounter this. Yeah. Um, so we use the word we, I, opted for strange fam, which I love. Strange fam. I love strange fam. And I kind of want to call the comment section the strange fam. Discuss. You... Thoughts. No. No? Hard no? Okay. <laughs> what... <laughs> so what I'm going to do. What the hell are we of... going to do with the first six episodes? <laughs> no. I mean, we haven't printed the shirts. So you're thinking this is. Moving Strange forward. Fam is going to be our Save by the Bell, and our first six, ep six episodes are going to be Good Morning, Miss Bliss. Yeah. That's I mean, we're not going to change the, no. the episode. We're not going to change the <laughs> show title. We're just going to rename the comment section the Strange Fam. So it's like, oh, that's what I'm saying. That I yeah, support. Yeah, no, we're not going to change. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. That so I, I like, support. Part of me was like, well, I'm going to keep mixing it in. I'm going to toss it in here and there over the time. Strange like, comment section, yeah, the Strange no, Fam. Yeah, no, that, that's, like that's, that's set the in stone. Fam. Listen. Mm -hmm. Um, it's important. Sam is still it's, hip. It's so one of they say they say that one of the most important things you can do in a podcast is name your fans is you name your fan base. Yeah. They say that that seventy eight percent of failed podcasts are because they didn't name their mm -hmm. fan base. Um, so, Stranger Heights, the the rage in the football community, the Kelsey's podcast, they named their fans fan base and it took them like an entire season to do it we just fucking what are did they it. called they are called the 92 percenters okay a yeah. little wordy it's a bit it's a bit but yeah. they're also like the top podcast like on apple so oh, so you can I, do whatever you want yeah uh, so until we get there i'm gonna go ahead and, and say that they're they're crushing it but if we were both in the super bowl we probably would have had a way more successful podcast so we just so got to make forward okay I'm going to start referring to our comment section as the strange fam. It's always good to get so a little strange, strange fam comment below. Strange. Fam, are we okay? Are you okay with that? Strange fam. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't Let matter if you are, but it'd be super cool for you to be so that we can <clears throat> print you those shirts. <laughs> it would be. That's a sh what, strange what fan that? supports coffee and ketchup. Ooh, wow. We're building an empire. Yeah. Let's. So I pulled up. So now that we've gone fully public, yeah. uh, we've got a few comments on um, the YouTube channel. You said there might be some feedback on Facebook. Yes, yes. There's there a little some bit. There is some feedback on the face, the book of faces. Um, one of these subscribers on YouTube, his name is Rhino Trooper, and it's clearly your brother Dave's account, <laughs> I think, because there's one video yeah. of a guy, and it took me a second, but there's a guy. Who goes out onto his front porch and slips and falls on That's the ice. That's 100% <laughs> my brother. <laughs> it's so Him on his ring doorbell slipping on the yeah. ice. It is great. Yeah. It is a great video. Yeah. That's a great reason to have a YouTube account. Yeah. Dude, yeah. Hey, actually, we should. Let me see if I can. We should almost pull this up. Let me pull this up and show it here. Okay. <laughs> Let's watch this. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, absolutely. Um, this is uh, my brother's. It's called adventure. one upload is called dramatic, funny ice fall. Yeah. <laughs> From four years ago. Okay. So he walks out onto the porch. Dog's following him, and he bites him. <laughs> Wait, listen to dude. Oh, the dog's wagging this. Oh shit! It also sounds like farts coming back in. I don't know why, but it's so good. oh man, the oh, dog's left beautiful. outside. He walks back. What a great he video. understands what happens. He understands yeah. the joy of it. Yeah, I remember when That's that a happened. Top notch video. He told me about it, and he's like, "Yo, this this thing could go viral." I'm like, "Maybe." And so he sets <laughs> it will now. So he sets up a YouTube. Hey, and sure look, it's strange fam. Yeah, I mean, just like that song by Fleetwood Mac that came back because a guy was drinking ocean spray. I mean, anything's possible. This movie's this this yeah, video is right? making a comeback. Uh, let's see another comment from Ducky Fuzzer. It's just a picture of a ducky. <laughs> It says, can confirm killer basement for sleepovers. So I guess oh. that's, yeah, we were talking about sleepovers. I don't know who this is. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Uh, now I'm, yeah, I'm so kind of curious. If it's one of our buds or one of your brother's buds. I mean, there's a lot of sleepovers either way. That's true. Or they're in your parents' basement right now. Sharon, and they're looking around. They're listening. like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I guess so. Um, Billy Sweeney. Okay. Commented. I don't know Billy Sweeney. Do you? I do. I do. Bill. I do know Billy. Billy is one of my buddies from college. Okay. Good guy. A good quality family fun. Love the concept. Also highly recommend West Hill Golf Course in Camillus for your IRL reunion, which I, I think we've all driven by at some point going to the Carousel Mall. Yeah. Which I'll sure. gladly third wheel. Love a good third wheel. Yeah, absolutely. As I am one of the best. Billy uh, is uh, so Billy. That. I've stayed Billy. I've stayed in contact with in some context uh, because he was a uh, also a fan of the same music as I was. That's actually how we got to know each other. Fresh my freshman year of college. Uh, I'm talking about punk and ska music, and so we've actually yeah. continued. You know, once maybe twice a year lately of uh, getting together and seeing a show together. Kind of keeps both of us going to live music. So yeah, thanks, Billy. Appreciate you listening. Um, somebody wanted to talk about the six degrees thing. Oh, and oh wait. So this has basically become the fan mail, the strange fan, strange fan mail. Great first episode. I feel like you need to give six degrees a chance on the podcast, which we could. I don't know what your comfort level is with that. We I probably have to do a little homework for that. Um, it's tough. Says in regards to Lenin, so that's where I talked about Lenin. They preserve his body so well that North Korea sends their past dictators to them once a year or or something for upkeep, quote unquote. The more you know, that is good knowledge. That's helpful. Who, what what uh? So that was in Red Square when I they have preserved Lenin's body, but North Korea sends their dictators there. I like that. That was one message. Like, hey, you yeah, should play. Si- you should play Six Degrees. Also yeah. about Lenin. It's from That's... Tiffany. Tiffany Zaire. Zier. Oh, Zier. Tiff Zier. Oh. Tiff... Okay. 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 Yep. Tiff Zier is a, is a, a dear friend uh, from my my time in Buffalo. Um, great family. Of course, the Ziers are supporting the pod. Uh, that is to no surprise. So thank you, Ziers, for listening. And this this story has to be confronted. So. Oh, okay. What's up? From somebody named Broadway IJ. I don't know that person. First comment. One of these hosts had a paper airplane thrown into his eye while playing trumpet. Talk amongst yourselves. Now, folks, this is this is interesting. Two reasons. This is a story. Actually, one one reason. That I know very well. <laughs> okay, perfect. Because I'm like, we both played trumpet. I played less than Matt did, but we both played trumpet. And I very well may have taken an airplane to the eye and just forgot. But it sounds like this happened to Matt. It was me. Okay. So. I, I've always remembered this and I still, I've still told people the story, but mm-hmm. I was confronted by it at Wegmans, the uh, Times Square of Auburn sure. by one John. <laughs> I'm going to say your full name, John. Wow. Bleep it out. We can bleep it out um, and edit if you want. We won't, but, but I you, won't. we can. I won't, John. We can. Deal with it. This is your punishment for tossing an airplane into my eye because he still remembers it too. 
he tells his kids about it. Have <laughs> I saw him one day, and I didn't recognize him exactly at first. I and I was like, holy shit, you are because he's got like a beard now. Whatever, oh, we're okay. all a little different. Sh- sure. He's like, we're just like small talk, and he goes, "Do you remember when you got a paper airplane <laughs> in your eye?" And I was like, "I do remember that. Yeah, exactly." And I still tell that story. <laughs> So I don't know how I don't remember exactly. I think it was like more of like the wind ensemble band where you're sitting down. Okay. And sure. Just he. I think he just like. I think it was him. Pretty sure he just tosses an airplane, flies around, and I'm not even looking. Just goes. Phew, just sticks in my eye like this sideways. Were you playing? No, we weren't. Oh. But I did not expect it either. So like went right into my the outer eye crease. Sure. And just stuck there and just wedged. And I just remember turning around. I'm like looking with the airplane still stuck in my eye. Like well, yeah, you don't take so the airplane like, out. You go. <laughs> no, you got to get milk that how, moment. I, I, I understand how insane this is, so I'm not letting yeah. this go. Wow. Take it out. I was probably mad at the time. I don't even remember because I was like, could have lost sight, you know, in glorious fashion. Like sure. uh, one Mr. Patterson, an English teacher at our high school, lost sight in an eye J-Pat. with a uh, TV antenna fight with his brother growing up. And had he, a glass eye. Yeah, he loved it too. He loved eyeball. telling that story. So, He's an odd duck. I, I avoided potential disaster. Wow. <laughs> fuck. I still share that story, but he's like, "You remember that?" And I was like, "Uh huh." And then the next time I saw him, he brought his kid in. It was in. I was like, "Hey, remember that story I told you about the paper airplane eye? That's, that's the guy. The, that's the like, fucking yeah. guy." I know. Yep. Wow. And I've come back for my revenge, slowly but yeah. surely. I Two gotta imagine he's the one who made that comment. If somebody else remembers that story, that's cool. Show yourself. Let us know. I, that's a weird name. Broadway IJ. I don't know. I don't I know. know. is in the, the weed business now, the legal version of it. I think I can say that if I can't. Okay. If he's um, not, this is I'll, really weird. Yeah, like if he's if out. he's not legally in the or if he's illegally in the business or just not in the business at all. That's a weird declaration to be making because you just started it with, I think. Didn't yeah. you? Or I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So I don't know. Maybe. John, no, I know, luck. I know. Good luck, is. or the, or he's or... in one legal business and several illegal businesses. <laughs> oh crap! I shouldn't have said that. This is a ransom. <laughs> this is paper airplane revenge. Wow. Every week, wow, I'll that release, release release a detail about your life, fake or otherwise. Wow. Until I get. Um, well, I, I was going to say, what a what a great dollar gift card. What a Dunkin great Donuts. contribution for John to be listening, but he immediately regrets commentating on, <laughs> yeah. on uh, this. So no, he's, it's yeah. a, I mean, good dude. But yeah, feel free I to like, drop it. I like it. meeting somebody because. Who seems like really positive? He was like really happy. I was like, "Good man, I like that. <laughs> I like that you're having a good life." You know? Yeah. Kids, I mean, it's happy. it's all it's it's cool in the idea that like I'm not gonna lie. There's still a lot of situations where if I'm in Auburn, um, and I do need to run an errand or some sort. Certainly, Wegman's is the true gauntlet. Um, it is a gauntlet. I, I have great. I have mixed feelings of whether or not I'd like to see someone that. I haven't seen in a while. Yep. There's yeah. all right. A, a lot of reasons is there's a lot of good people. There are. And I probably had more resentment towards people than ever was warranted um, for some stuff, but like, it's good to see people and I hope people are doing well, but after like a pleasant hello and Hey man, good to see you. I'm not sure there's a ton to talk about. And I do not understand when it's appropriate to keep talking or like, go your own ways. Like, do you start turning your body, give the body language first of like, well, I'm off. Like, yeah. I don't know. Like, yeah. right. Are you supposed to say, Hey, do you remember Like, Oh, are we supposed to reminisce? Am I supposed to fill you in? Like, Hey, how's new things? Well, um, I got a new job, but you didn't know my old job. So I guess I'm not sure that that's relevant yeah. to tell you. I, I just really, I really need this peanut butter. <laughs> yeah. You just yeah, hope, you it. hope when you're bumping into someone at Wegmans, you're not buying a really weird and specific, awkward combination of yeah. things that are hard to explain. Yeah. So that, that'd be a weird one. You're like, yeah, man, just picking up these, uh, these gourds and this lube. And mm-hmm. that's, you know, for totally different reasons. It doesn't matter why I gotta go. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. so you just, it's, yeah, these rubber gloves are for COVID reasons. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh-huh. So it's, that's actually it's, a great way to get out of stuff now. Just be like, I've been really sick lately. <clears throat> oh, that's true. It's probably the next, I think it's the next variant, but I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> I got, yeah, the, we should get together. We should get together. Yeah, I got the Omega variant. That sounds really ominous, but I think I have the Omega <laughs> yeah. variant. I have Zed. They called it. I don't know. They said it's not prominent in the States yet. So mm. Mm. patient zero. Hey. Greek. Yeah. 
It's, it's European. It's Mediterranean. Yeah, I, I don't it's expect you hot. to understand. All right. Do you have any any worthwhile Facebook comments? Um, you know what? Any any, un, any surprising? Uh, oh, actually, messages or people or yeah, folks. You know what? I really. Uh, so we got message from all, all over the place: college, work, everything. A uh, couple uh, really nice, pleasant things to say in general, but one was really great. Um, I got a comment from uh, a buddy I went to college with, Steve. And now Steve was in my fraternity. Um, and I have not seen Steve in probably 20 years. Um, we didn't keep connected. We weren't that close, but he's a great, great guy. Um, lives in New York City and has spent a lot of time with NBC Universal. So his comment, mm. his comment. He wants to pick up the pod. His turn it into a his show. His comment <laughs> was A plus copywriting on the title and design work on the side too. Good luck. Thumbs up. So wow. he. Are we copyrighted? He. <laughs> I don't even know. He, like, I think it was basically saying, like, that's a great title for the show, given the context and the. Okay, you know, now I know everything. why you wanted to hear this because it was your. Okay. It was a brilliant title. I get what's going on, but here. also okay. the design work on showing side two on the cassette, as you had mentioned before, like side two, like uh -huh. this is take two of it. So we is have it a, a stock image, maybe. We have, but we decided to. We use have it. a guy in the industry telling us, yeah. that's a great start. So that was really cool to hear because I'm like, hey. He's not just talking out of his ass. A, I don't ever hear from this guy, and that's okay. And I wish him the greatest. But he knows that he's a guy who knows what he's talking about with that stuff. He used to work for SNL. I can't wait to that's hear his kind commentary of like, on Strange Fam. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, we have some people that are thrilled that Paul Rudd is involved in the podcast. <laughs> from our friend from our friend Allison growing up. She even put uh Oh Allison. Oh, she said she uh Na she name redacted. Yeah, name redacted. Uh she also put I'm a one and a half episodes in, and then just hearing you guys speak is throwing me back. Crazy how fast these oh, years go. That's right, Allison. Yeah. It is crazy. We also have another uh, comment from Eric. Eric M. from Auburn, New York. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Who said, Jesus, listening to this is awesome. Just about done with episode two. Then he put a picture that says, where am I now? And showed a picture on the post. Now, Matt, I'm going to try to hold this up and see if you can determine where Eric M is when he took this You'll picture. You'll have to send this to me so we can put it in. But Is that East Middle School Auditorium? That is the East Middle School Auditorium. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Why is he there? <laughs> so that's, uh, he works for the district. And no he said, doing my part to make sure the audio system is up to par for the upcoming concert season. Hell yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. I love that. So at the East Middle Auditorium, what I remember is on the right side, there's curtains. It's got those big, like, vaulted ceiling to floor. Massive windows. windows. With curtains, like, we're talking like. Except there's no windows. <laughs> it's like just wall now. Well, the one, the like one side had. The one side had. Windows. The, the one side that faced the outside has windows. Is this a Mandela effect? Oh, my God. Hold on. I thought the one side had windows, but to make it look aesthetically similar, the side that was toward the inside of the school didn't have windows, but they still put in, like, fake windows. You could be right. Um, for some reason, I thought I remember, like, all the windows got covered. Probably a maintenance thing. I don't know. But we had a very classy middle school. We had a double deck, or, I mean, a single deck, like, middle school auditorium. Yeah, with like a right? full-on Didn't... balcony. Like, <laughs> yeah. no, yeah, we had, yeah, balcony, we, yeah. I mean, our middle, our middle school was an old high school back yeah. because the baby boomers, there used to have to be three high schools to harbor all of the chillins back in the 50s and 60s. It was kind of like a Back to the Future auditorium set up, you know? Yeah. Had like a the clock tower, weather vane type thing. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, it was very regal. Very wide pillars. Yeah. Like big windows. Yeah. Very studly. Real classy. We had a courtyard. Mm -hmm. But it didn't, you could That's get, right. you could That's get cool into it, but there was nothing in it. It was literally just a, I don't know, 40 foot Dude. by 60 foot area of grass that you could awkwardly look out the window of a classroom and look across the courtyard into another yep. classroom. 
It was great. I mean, if you had a class on the courtyard, you're just staring out into it the whole class. Absolutely. The whole there was nothing happening, <laughs> yeah. but you're like, oh, sweet, yeah. sweet release. Um, yeah. I had a lot of classes with that, with, uh, on, on the band A lot band of language side. arts and math. <laughs> yeah. I remember in our math class once, I remember, ooh, our eighth grade math teacher. I can't remember who it was, but I'm pretty sure you were in class with me. We were in advanced math because we were nerds like that. Um, mm-hmm. But George Audi was in oh, our class. Yeah. What's and her name? It was uh, a Car- Carnicelli? Was it Ms. Carnicelli? Something like that. Was that she it? was fun. She was fun, but he... Shenanigans Yeah, and then bit. one day she did not put up with shenanigans, and she threw a with stapler. Grover? No, she threw a stapler at, at George's head. And it like... George Audi. Yeah, and it smashed on the chalkboard behind him, and he goes, oh, <laughs> man, you whiz that. And like, like he just like literally laughs at him. I'm like, George, you almost got hit in the head with like a stapler. I think she meant to throw it like farther away from him but she didn't have a good arm just be mad yeah and like it went whizzing by his head but are you talking about the grover coming in late i well i remember i think in class when she was turned around we were doing the wave or something yeah, one time like oh yeah doing that and she turned around just as he was full up yep in it and he just froze like he was looking at a t-rex and she just like yeah. stared at him and it was just like the worst timing he got shit on i think after that for like the whole year basically by yeah her. there was there was some time where someone was late to class and they were picking up their binder after she made them sit in the hall for two minutes but then the binder <laughs> lost all the papers and he was picking uh, them up and she got frustrated because yeah. he wasn't coming Even inside so she slammed the door again <laughs> that's right <laughs> woo, woo. I'm like, good shit yeah. that's a way to be a teacher absolutely be like right it's just that fuck you attitude I'll, you want i'll show like, you I can't do this i'll show anymore. you i will remove the education from you <laughs> that's right I had to like, sit in the hall Stands up to come back in, binder blows up, slams the door in. Yep. That's <laughs> so good. Yeah. That's that's almost like got Catholic school vibes to it. That's good. Yeah. She I don't know if, if Carnicelli Carnic Carnicelli might have been the one from from high school. I can't remember these teachers' yeah. names to save my it's life anymore. Say. I mean they won't remember ours either. There's a lot of terrible teachers um, out there. A lot of gr- yeah. there were some great ones, but I had more bad teachers than good teachers. I will admit that. That's why I originally went to college to be a teacher is because I'm like I'm sick of all these clowns that like presumably hate kids because of how shitty of human beings they're mm-hmm. being. So, oh, it's the most thankless job there is too. Like, it is. I imagine it is. I dated a girl who, in her first year, she out of college. She was a teacher, and she got like teacher of the year in Austin for like the district or her school at least, but may have been one of the tops for the district. Uh huh. But she like spent her whole like every day. I, ba- I feel like I barely saw her because like she would stay at school for so long. Like her days were like fifteen hour days almost. Like in terms of like getting there early, getting the room set up, and staying after and like doing all this extra stuff. I was like that much effort to like just be an elementary school teacher, and like I was like this is not sustainable. Yeah, <laughs> you can't do this. Yeah. Like, like it's gonna be, it's gonna kill you. So do you think uh, a lot of teachers so I, were so I like? Dumped her. Do you think a lot of? So I dumped her. Do you think a lot of? <laughs> do you think a lot of teachers like <laughs> no. before they turn thirty five, are like like especially like teachers in their twenties? Do you think they're like all all stars? Like they're probably coming in, yeah, crushing I feel it. Like the teacher industry, and just like the older you industry. get, the less fucks you give. And so like by the time yeah. you're ready to if retire, you far, yeah, you're just like fuck this. I'm tenured. You're all pieces of shit. I don't care. Yeah, fail or pass, it does not matter to me. Like, I would love to be in a room and just tell some kid to put his head down. Don't look up. Put your head down. <laughs> just do that for the next 40 minutes. Like, I don't even care if you that is a just... Yeah, like, that doesn't fly in normal jobs. Like, if I have a bad trainee, I can't be like, I'm going to need you to put your head down for 40 minutes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I need you to go sit in the corner and look at the corner for the next 45 minutes. Right. Don't turn around. No phone. I'm mailing a dunce cap to your house, and I expect you to put yeah. it on. You fool. That would be a great way to handle things. I, maybe a, a lot of adults would get humbled if they were actually shamed like we were in school. Mm-hmm. Maybe the Catholics had it right on, on something. We're, I'm just kidding. On to something. I'm just kidding. <laughs> they didn't. Do you have a hot wreck for the week? A hot wreck for the week. Um, let's see. I have one. I'll I start off. Why don't you start? Um, I was revisiting accidentally on YouTube, a YouTube vortex. Yeah. Found the BBC Earth channel. So it's got all those videos. Remember when, I mean, 
how long ago this was. Remember when Planet Earth dropped? It was like the gnarliest <sighs> so set of DVDs you could get. So good. 2006. So fucking good. Well, they keep making videos like that since the last 17 years. They keep making videos like these micro niche little na natural settings, and they're all on BBC Earth. So subscribe to BBC Earth on YouTube. It's a great late night watch, but it's still it's still just as fascinating. You think like it's um, well tread territory, like these like very intricate documentaries with like great resolution. They're not. It's still fascinating. Like I haven't watched Planet Earth. I mean, I know there was this, like a second one. There's like other iterations of it, but it still holds up. It's still amazing. And I think it just puts you in a different mindset about like considering the earth and life and who we are and what it all means which i still don't know but at least it's like i like to think that there's something bigger and i don't mean like necessarily like universally godly bigger but at least even on our own small planet that there's more than just us it's a good way to kind of have that perception and this one video so there's a series they have called i think it's like the top 50 natural history moments so they break it up each video is like 10 like 50 to 41 etc um, and I think the one that's 30 to 21, number 30, yeah. rocked my world. It was a spider, a little tiny spider, walking around, trying to avoid getting murdered by a female. So this female spider of this um, species, if it doesn't find a mate that it wants, it just kills the male. Hey, you're not good enough. Killed. You're not good enough. Killed. So this male is running away from this female until he can't run anymore. And so his only defense is to dance. So he like is standing there. All of a sudden he's frozen in front of her. She just picks up two legs. Like just one. Like this. He starts doing like a flow. Like, like doing like two voguing. legs at a time. And he has like, it's, it's called a peacock spider. And like his abdomen comes up. He does a little show. He does like a little show and dance. And she's sort, sort, sort of like chases him middle school style, like flirty in a way. But he still thinks he's going to die because he's like really scared that he's going to get eaten. He, then he stops again and he keeps dancing. It's amazing until he finally does get to mate with her, um, which is it's very erotic. Really good music. Wow. Um, yeah. Okay. Really so so yeah, they play that. like um, Buck Cherry and stuff instead of like the normal <laughs> yeah. stuff that they play, like yeah. the soothing Cherry sounds. Pie. Yeah. Okay. Some <laughs> yeah. warrant. Mm -hmm. That makes a lot um, of sense. So then, yeah, he 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 mates with the female. Yeah. And then goes about his way. Until she jumps on him and kills him anyway afterwards. Oh. So praying mantis style. Wait, but she made it. She, yeah, she made it and then fucking kills him anyway. So wait. Kills the mate. Hold on. So there's no point. Hold there's on. There's no point. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. Hold on. The dance means nothing. You you don't get to. Like, this is like Jigsaw in the movie Saw. Like, you don't. Like, there's yeah. no winning in this. And. Mm -hmm. So is this always how it happens, or did they, or did they capture the a rogue spider. incident where they're yeah. like, "Oh shit, she's supposed to let him live, but this one went ham anyway." Yeah. Was and it a murder? Him. Right? Was is it this murder? something to be investigated? Yeah. Dude, there are so many crime and murder podcasts that I bet this story could be picked up by like crime junkies or something. Of yeah, that if you nature. could, you could humanize this for sure, and it'd be a top. Oh, there you go, top seller. Yeah, yeah put it on Netflix. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, well, I mean, a lot of good shit on. It. Anyways, the top fifty, but. It's good. Yeah. Rewatch. You'll. It's hard to not enjoy it or to just be like, wow. Wow. Where do we live? This little pale blue dot. Mm -hmm. Carl Sagan. Okay. Okay. So. Um, I'm going to give. I'm going to give my support to. Uh, I've, I've come around to the concept of, of, of almond milk. In general, I think almond milk gets a bad rap and it has for years, but it's, it's strived and survived. I am here to tell you just because something is a substitution for something else doesn't mean that it's supposed to taste exactly like that. No, it thing. won't. Yeah, that's true. So knock it off. Like I, if you listen, if you want whole milk, I'm probably not going to convince you that almond milk is a reasonable substitute. But if you don't drink glasses of milk daily, then almond milk is a great substitute. It goes great. It makes your shakes. Do you still drink glasses of milk it, daily? Huh? Do you drink glasses of milk no. daily? No. But, okay. But that's what I'm saying is as adults, who is? Who's, I know. Who's drinking glasses? Who's pouring milk, themselves really a glass of milk? Like, 
yeah. as adults and as a generation that has had a hard time growing up, we are still very <laughs> big fans of things like cereals and stuff like that. Um, there are some healthy. I'm out in the cereal now too. You're out of the, the cereal game. Yeah. Why? Nope. No cereal. I don't buy cereal. I don't know. Is it's it? Like, it's it's a complexity. Barely nutritious. Is it hard to build <laughs> breakfast like that? It is. I mean, I used to like. To- I used to put weight. You know, really like fill up the bowl. Um, uh, kind of fucking I bowls are you using? You're going up. like like the small. But I'm saying I would I would mountain. Oh, mountainize. Oh, okay. The cereal. Um, we actually it was a big program at Wegmans this year. Got introduced free cereal in the break room for employees. Oh, and they shit. fucking go gaga for it. It's got like all the Wegmans brand, but it's got like the Reese's Puffs style. Wegmans has like, like that? whatever the knockoff cinnamon toast crunch raisin brand. Yeah, and you can get milk and shit, and it's good. But like, I still don't, I don't know why I'm out on. I haven't had cereal. Purchase cereal probably since college. Like, I don't know why, honestly. Now I'm thinking about it, but I think I like more. I barely eat breakfast, which is terrible, but I'd rather have an egg. Yeah, I know? mean, that's, but that's what I'm saying is so I don't drink milk often, but it still has a place. Like, I had cereal this morning, but that was the first bowl of cereal I've probably had in about two weeks, um, maybe even longer. Honeycomb? No, no, it was a, it's a, uh, it's a special like dietary one, low carb, oh, functional cereal, functional okay. cereal. Um, yeah. but what I'm saying is though, is that the beauty of almond milk is the stuff has like a two and a half month shelf life. So I can buy like a half gallon and that bad boy can hang out for a long time until I need to use milk. So props to almond milk. Is it taste good it doesn't taste necessarily like dairy milk but it tastes good and it's it's you can buy vanilla i get vanilla unsweetened um so it's got a little hint of vanilla taste to it but you can buy original that just kind of doesn't taste like milk it just tastes a little bit more like almonds than vanilla but um get yourself some unsweetened vanilla almond milk and you know make your shakes with it or your uh anything like that you can do with your cereals and it doesn't have that really restraining time frame. So you can buy a half gallon and, you know, you buy five half gallons and it can almost last you a year. So you can moderately have the bowl of cereal when you're having that craving. You don't need to keep it around because the cereal lasts and now the milk lasts too. So you can have that option so that if you're not a big cereal eater, you can have that random evening if breakfast is in your thing. You can have that random evening where you're like, I'd like a little snack this evening, after, you know, and you're like, you know what? I could rock a bowl of cereal and then maybe really go straight nostalgic, hop on YouTube, go look up some like 90s nostalgia commercials or find your favorite episode of Nicktoons and, you know, mm-hmm. have yourself a little nostalgic evening. But even though our dietary uh, capabilities have, have, taken a a, an aggressive turn for some of us and dairy milk is out of the question you can still have that bowl of cereal when you when it when it comes up and i suggest you give almond milk a real the old college try so not only do i co-sign your recommendation it's fire it's fire good i'm so glad that the unsweetened (laughs) vanilla is the one unsweetened vanilla is the one so if i do buy milk i buy the unsweetened vanilla almond milk you know, it tastes different. Like if you put it in, like sometimes I'll use it for like overnight oats. There you go. Make some of that. Or yeah, you're right. Put it in a little banana peanut butter smoothie. Yeah. It'll taste different at first, but you'll get used to it. It's just an almond baby. Good protein. Yeah. Good. Sh- I mean, I guess the downside, what's the, what's the uh, criticism is that it takes a lot of water to grow almonds and maybe it's not a great resource. But hey, uh, the world's filled with I, water. I, you listen, you got to. Come on, strange fan. Let's let's Look work on this. Watch signs. All right. Learn the importance of water and why. Wait, no, that was like the opposite. Why did they attack a world yeah. that had 90, 70 percent? M water? Night was still M Night was still coming yeah. into his own. Signs is is not one of his better works. Yeah. It was missing a big uh, big thing. Although, and that was Dave Batista. Swing away. Swing away. Um, I would say in signs though, the best part of that. It was truly shocking. I saw it in the theater, I remember. But when they just showed the alien, and it looked like an alien that you think of when a kid, but when they show it, 
in that Brazilian clip or whatever. Like at the at the Christmas terrifying. party or at the like, like, birthday party. Shit, that's real. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh fuck, <laughs> this is scary. It had that Blair yeah. had like Blair Witch vibes to it. Convo next week. Uh oh, what do I we got? We, I hope we get Zaddy. It's probably not in here. Word number one: future. <laughs> I feel like these are all kind of the same. Right, thing. Yeah. we're gonna have to get, it's either the, get some new. Yeah, the past, the present, <laughs> soon. Yeah. We're gonna get some new dice. Future, future. Ooh, first time. Interesting, interesting dichotomy. Future, first time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's terrible. And present. <laughs> no, let's see. Oh, elder. So elder, first time, future. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see, know, man. man. That's the challenge. I don't know, man. The, I don't the know. less it makes sense, the more chances we have of pulling so Maybe think bullshit. of something that you're going to do for the first time when you're an old guy. Yep. I plan on being elder in the future. For the first time, mm-hmm. I'll be elder. <laughs> but that's in the future. <laughs> yeah. All right. Solid. Hey, another morning pot. I'm getting used to these. Yeah, successful. Successful. I can literally do nothing the rest of the day, and I have accomplished so much. Um, you know, next time, uh, stick around for next week when we talk about Matt's inability to start at the agreed upon time. And then. False. We agreed on 11. We said 1030. Uh oh. 11. I don't. That's on you. I don't think that's, that's a, on I you. don't think that's statistically it's accurate. At ten thirty, we said next week. Why would ten thirty? It's like yeah, let's make it eleven. Let's make it. That eleven. That sounds familiar, but I still stupid is stupid does sir. <laughs> <laughs> Why would my phone lie to me? I'm not even going to dignify uh, myself with a right. response You're to that. Punching it in. All right. <laughs> <laughs> We're punching it that in. Sounds familiar, but I don't well, know. I, I'll tell you what. I appreciate then that you went this whole podcast without thinking. Pointing out that I was wrong, even though I wasn't. But you could have could have went heavy on me there, even though it's clearly you who are in the wrong. But hey, <laughs> you know what? That's it. No more. No more nice guys here. Well, all right? if there has been anything that this podcast has embraced, it's the fact that I have admitted I have been wrong many times, and I plan on being wrong <laughs> yes. in the future. And next time, I will stick to my guns harder on it, no matter how well I can be disproven. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. Hey, this is my truth. Okay. Mm-hmm. This is my truth. Living my I truth. believe it so. I confuse my priorities. Adios.